Ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard. Welcome to Keep Flying. I am a traveler. Not just an ordinary traveler, but a frequent traveler. Traveling to me is not just about moving from one place to the other. I travel for work and personal business. And with all this traveling I do, safety is my number one priority. Knowing my luggage is well looked after, and most of all, a team of people within the airport to assist me around. A self-checking kiosk always comes in handy, and that way I don't have to queue up and stare at my watch. I'm always on my smartphone and laptop while in the airport terminals, so Wi-Fi always saves the day. Oh, and grabbing a snack while I wait for my flight is key to keeping me calm. Last <laughs> one for all passengers to board the flight to Livingston. Oops, gotta go before I miss my flight. Travel with a peace of mind and enjoy airport services at your convenience with the help of Zambia Airport Corporation Limited, Zambia's airport and air navigation provider. With a new shopping mall and hotel coming soon. Zambia Airport Corporation Limited. Keep flying. A very warm welcome to this special interview with the Zambia Airports Corporation as we continue talking about navigation industry. My name is Kafala and with me is um, Mr. Stanley Staley, who is manager Avionics. Welcome to the program. Thank you very much and uh, thank you for inviting me to the program. All right. Uh, the first thing we would love to find out from you, sir, before we go straight into what we're looking at today, is find um, just get to understand uh, what the term avionics means. Avionics means uh, aviation electronics. This is the application of the ICTs in the air navigation field to provide the various facilities that are necessary for the conduct of air traffic management. So what facilities and services do you provide? Quite a number. As um, avionics, our mandate is to facilitate the conduct of uh, expeditious air traffic management in the uh, Zambian airspace. Uh, therefore, we have facilities and services, which includes communication facilities uh, for ground-to-air communication, ground-to-ground -ground communication, um, navigational aids, these are facilities which are used to navigate aircraft from one point uh, to the other. We have surveillance, surveillance to give, to map the positions of aircraft in the Zambian airspace. We have other facilities uh, which we call ancillaries. Uh, these include, for example, X-ray baggage uh, facilities. So in a nutshell, these are the facilities uh, which we do provide to enable the safe conduct of air navigation in our airspace. All right. Now, talking about the facilities, how modern are they? Quite modern. Just recently, we have uh, installed a radar system. Now, uh, these things are done in context. We have what we call the aviation uh, system blob uh, upgrade, which is an agreed uh, roadmap to develop air navigation. Uh, as an international, as part of the international community. In there we have phases, block zero, block one, block two, which state specifically what services we need to uh, install and modernize and what facilities, uh, you know, we need to uh, install. As a result, uh, all our facilities are at an international standard. We have what we call standard practices. So our infrastructure uh, is quite modern. As you are aware, we also cater for the international community, including international overflights. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Now, so how crucial is the technology in uh, avionics and uh, what advancements are currently on the market? Yeah, very crucial. Our airspace worldwide, it's um, it has got a limited capacity, and uh, we have seen the, the general trends uh, in the economies and the standard of living of people increasing, which means more people are able to fly. Uh, today in Zambia, the middle class is increasing, which means uh, people can afford to fly. There are more aircraft uh, in the air than any other time in history, which means if we are to use this finite resource 
frugally, so to speak, it means we have to, to have facilities. Technology is the way to go, uh, where we can manage these aircrafts and the airspace very, very efficiently, so that even more and more people can be able to to fly. Mm. Yes. Okay. And how often do you upgrade your technology? We have um, a roadmap. First of all, we have a strategic plan, uh, which is we run up to uh, 2021. And then, in addition, we have a long-term master plan, uh, which goes up to uh, in the 2030s. In this, we have charted the roadmap of what we need to do to develop the uh, infrastructure to meet this expanded need for air travel. So we are constantly uh, keying to uh, you know, uh, these uh, requirements. Yeah. Tell us about your staff uh, establishment and how you're organized. We are a lean organization. Uh, we are about um, 42 uh, in number. And we uh, organize at various skills levels. You know, we are an engineering establishment, and uh, we have uh, our manpower spread uh, all over the country to uh, look after this uh, infrastructure. Okay, we have to keep our manpower at a very high level of competency. It's competence based uh, because remember we are dealing with safety, and also we are dealing with the. Uh, the international community. What we provide here in Zambia should be the same. Uh, should be the same as you can find in any other country. And what does um, the general public need to know about what you do? The general public needs to know that they are safe um, uh, as they fly uh, in Zambia. Uh, the airspace is quite safe. We have endeavoured to maintain a very high level. Uh, of availability of this infrastructure, expensive as they are, and uh, uh, technologically demanding as they are. Okay, it's, we can even say it's safer to fly than to, to drive. So as we come to the end of the interview, what are your closing remarks? Well, I'm excited with the aviation industry in Zambia. It's at the verge of um, great development. We have uh, modern facilities coming up here in the, at Kekekia, at the Kenneth Kaunda International Airport, at Ndola uh, Airport. And um, we have a number of international airlines uh, coming in uh, and to which we need to provide um, excellent facilities and which we are ende endeavoring to do. So this is an exciting time in the aviation industry, especially with the coming, again, uh, of the reborn Zambia Airways. Thank you very much for your time, sir. Thank you. This is Keep Flying. That was uh, Mr. Stanley Staley, who is manager of Avionics, uh, right here at Zambia Airports Corporation Limited. And today we were looking at Avionics. And um, I hope that you've had a wonderful time listening to this particular program. My name is Kafala. Stay tuned. This is Keep Flying. I am a traveler. Not just an ordinary traveler, but a frequent traveler. Traveling to me is not just about moving from one place to the other. I travel for work and personal business. And with all this traveling I do, safety is my number one priority. Knowing my luggage is well looked after, and most of all, a team of people within the airport to assist me around. A self-checking kiosk always comes in handy, and that way I don't have to queue up and stare at my watch. I'm always on my smartphone and laptop while in the airport terminals, so Wi-Fi always saves the day. Oh, and grabbing a snack while I wait for my flight is key to keeping me calm. <laughs> Last one for all passengers to board the flight to Livingston. Oops, gotta go before I miss my flight. Travel with a peace of mind and enjoy airport services at your convenience with the help of Zambia Airport Corporation Limited, Zambia's airport and air navigation provider. With a new shopping mall and hotel coming soon. Zambia Airport Corporation Limited. Keep flying.